automobile haul here today guys so as many of you have requested for me to make a video of my M6 today I finally made some time to go out and film it for you guys because the weather was super super nice today I also recently just opened an Instagram account it's called automobile if you guys haven't followed me on there as well as like my Facebook page go ahead and do so now because on there you're gonna find a lot of exclusive information about the channel and I recently also just made a uh, vlog channel on YouTube it's called Moho Vlog if you guys haven't subscribed to that go ahead and subscribe 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 it's going to be awesome so I see you guys over there and be sure to give me a thumbs up on this uh, video and let me know what you guys think about my new car did I make the right choice or the right decision I would love to hear your opinion down below The BMW M6 is a high performance version of the BMW 6 series designed by the motorsport division of BMW. The M6 was critically acclaimed throughout its lifespan for its elegant, aggressive shark nose styling, its luxury equipment and performance. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the BMW M6 Grand Coupe in black sapphire metallic. The BMW M6 Grand Coupe is a super slick four-door coupe styling of the 6 series Grand Coupe dress up nicely with aggressive M Division modification. The M6 Grand Coupe is perhaps the most attracted high performance sedan to ever wear the M badge. The BMW M6 Grand Coupe was born from painstaking attention to both inner and outer beauty. Behind the sophisticated lines lies a V8 engine boasting an impressive 560 horsepower just waiting to be put to work. It also well suited for both performance and daily driving. The M6 features an extremely powerful engine combined with a responsive 7 speed M double clutch transmission with launch control that can be personalized by the driver to match with a wide range of preferences from comfort to sport plus and can operate in either automatic or sequential manual mode. In the manual mode, you shift like a Grand Prix driver by flicking the paddles just behind the steering wheel without taking your hands off the wheel. The M6 also features a beautiful cord bank exhaust system that brings a powerful, sporting look to its back end and while innovation in the engine effectively cut emission, the exhaust still adds performance present with a potent bass driven engine sound that packs a deep punch. Now with all that being said, the M6 will surely catch as many attention everywhere it goes. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the lightning that helps accentuate the BMW M6. The full adaptive LED headlight provide all forward lightning function, including low and high beam headlight with LED corona headlight rings, cornering light, daytime running light, as well as LED turn signal light. All lights are LED power and provide a wider, more powerful forward illumination for excellent visibility and reduced electrical power consumption. Very cool looking headlight. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom is the aerodynamic front bumper as well as the front splitter that feeds vital air into the engine. And there's the iconic BMW double kidney grille with chrome insert and the M6 badge to further differentiate the M6. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Very aggressive looking front end. Now moving to the side, the first thing you'll notice is the cornering light as well as the side camera. This particular model comes with the 20 inch M light alloy wheel with 265-35 continental performance style. Behind the wheel is the setup ventilated cross drill brake disc with a huge brake caliber painted in blue with M lettering on it. The huge brake caliber also helped the M6 Grand Coupe stop a lot quicker. And there's the specific M6 fender with integrated LED turn signal indicator, body color side view mirror, side camera are also built into the side view mirror and it does feature folded option. And here is a look at the stunning carbon fiber roof that made specifically for the M vehicle. I really love the carbon fiber roof.
rear wheels are also 20 inches and come staggered with with 295 30 Continental Performance Tire as well. The M6 also features M Dynamic Damper Control with M Chasis and Suspension System, M Drive and M Driving Dynamic Control with Dynamic Stability Control, including Brake Fade Compensation, Start Off Assistant, Brake Drying and Brake Standby features with Dynamic Traction Control. Tire Pressure Monitoring System are also equipped on all four wheels. To the back, you quickly notice the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate faster and help alert driver behind quicker to prevent possible accident. It also helps make the M6 look a lot better as you sped away. Very cool looking LED tail light. And there you have the M6 badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser with carbon fiber trims that frame the cord round chrome tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Rear deflector as well as park assist are also built into the rear bumper. And there's a closer look at the carbon fiber trim. Rear view camera is integrated behind the BMW badge as you can see. It will retract as you uh, put the vehicle into reverse. I really like the way it looks. It makes the M6 unique and stand out from other BMW models in my opinion. Okay, so here I have the remote. Very cool looking remote. On the remote I have the unlock, lock, trunk release and panic button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system with a key in your pocket. Just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And after a few seconds, just place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And as you can see, all four doors comes with the self-closed automatic door. So if you fail to close it, it'll close for you. The exterior color is known as black sapphire metallic, featuring a full black leather interior with carbon fiber trims and aluminum trims all around. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, just push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the BMW M6 Grand Coupe have to offer. Under the hood is a 4.4 liter BMW M Twin Power Turbo V8 engine, 32 valve, combines an M Twin Scroll turbocharger with variable valve control, double vanos and Vavtronic and high precision direct injection, auto start and stop function with 7 speed M double clutch transmission with drive logic and steering wheel mounted paddle shifter pushing out 560 horsepower and 502 pound feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds top speed is electronically limited at 155 mph in the US EPA estimated fuel economy is 14 city, 20 highway and 16 combined very impressive engine now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel 
It is all black with beautiful carbon fiber trims there. All windows are fully automatic. And there you have the button to control the uh, rear sunshade that will help block some of the sunlight out. And the window uh, buttons. Side view mirror controlled. And it does feature folded option. And there you can see the blind spot on the side view mirror. Harman Kardon surround sound speaker. Door storage compartment. M6 illuminated door seal. And there's the pedal. Here is a closer look at the seat. Very nice looking seat. It is heavily bolstered as you can see. Both front seats feature 20-way power front multi-contour seat with 4-way power lumbar support, articulated upper backrest, adjustable backrest width, adjustable thigh support, passenger seat memory, and active head restraint with adjustable side support, include memory system for driver and front passenger seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. And both front seat does feature heated and ventilated seat option. The three-spoke M Sport design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with M blue and red contrast stitching and M logo at the bottom with silver aluminum trims. Looks and feels very nice. It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, cruise control, as well as the most freaking used function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there's the uh, turn signal light control to the right you have the windshield wiper control steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and it also features heated option and here is a look at the instrument cluster Over to the left, you have the driver's side air vent with beautiful carbon fiber trim. There's the light control and the instrument light control. There you have all the driver assistant package uh, control as well as the heads up display. The heads up display projects important information directly in front of the driver onto the windshield so you don't have to take your eyes off the road while driving. And here is a closer look at the dash very cool looking dash. Now this model does comes with the Harman Kardon surround sound system that features 16 perfectly integrated loudspeaker that deliver an amazing sound quality for both you and your passengers. Now located centrally on the dash is the 10.2 inch LCD display with carbon fiber trims. Looks and feel very nice. There you also have the start and stop as well as the auto start stop uh, button. There's the mode, volume on and off, and the uh, preset button. Full zone climate control. Heated and ventilated seats. Carbon fiber on the center console. Two cup holders. And here's the gear shift lever. Feels very nice in your hand, so just push it up for reverse. And once you're in reverse, the backup camera will appear on the multimedia screen with guidance line. And you can also choose uh, between different angles of the camera. The guidance line will also move as you turn the wheel. And down for neutral, over to the right for drive or sport. And that's when you can uh, move it up or down to change gear. Or use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. Very easy and simple to use. And there you have the traction on and off, throttle response, suspension setting. Steering wheel setting and your shift responsiveness right there, parking assist and camera button, parking brake on and off. And you have that beautiful piece of aluminum right there. And here's the controller to your infotainment system. On there you have media, menu, telephone, nav and radio. Back and option so you can turn the knob around to move around screen or press down to select. Very simple to use. So on the menu screen you have multimedia which you can uh, select from different sources okay, 
Okay. Plus tax on a license and documentation fee, and score thirty sixteen. This is a special announcement for all Very Americans nice who owe back taxes to the IRS. All right, now let's go back to the menu screen and see what else we have. Radio, telephone, navigation, office, connected drive, vehicle information, setting. So inside vehicle information, you have your vehicle status. And it shows you like your engine oil level, tire pressure, perform reset, measure engine oil level, or service required. And you can also check the uh, control. Let's see uh, what uh, service is required here. You showing that everything is okay. So at this point, I don't need anything to be serviced. But it's good that uh, you have something to tell you or to remind you when uh, something is due. Inside setting here, you have your M Drive 1 as well as M Drive 2. Heads up display, instrument cluster, control display, time and date, languages connection tone speed lightning frontal collision setting and etc and here's the navigation system as you can see the system is super responsive it react right away as soon as you turn the knob very fast here you have the uh, ashtray and the cigarette lighter center storage compartment Inside you have the trunk lock and the dock for your iPhones as well as two USB plug as well as the uh, 12 volt power outlet and the auxiliary input. There's the uh, glove box compartment. And a look at the front seat once again. Very nice upholstery material. And here's the look to the top. There you have the SOS button to uh, use in case of an emergency and the light control. Rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener. Alcantara headliner with a leather insert in the middle. And there's the Alcantara sun visor mirror with a card holder. All right, now let's take a look at the rear space. There you have the grand coupe badge on the side. As you can see, rear seats offer seating for three. It does offer quite a bit of legroom in the back. Rear seats does feature folded option. You can fold it into 60 or 40 split for your convenience. And there is a look at the rear driver side door panel. It is all black with carbon fiber trims. And there you have the control for the uh, rear sunshade as well as the rear window shade. That way you can block all of the sunlight out if you want and you can control for both sides very convenient and rear windows are also automatic and there you have the storage compartment as well as the uh, ashtray aluminum door seal for the rear as well Alright, now let's jump into the rear passenger seat and see how it is in the back. But first, let me show you the look to the front. Very cool looking front cabin. And here's the look to the top. Down here you have your dual air vent as well as the full zone climate control for the rear passengers. And there you can see I'm missing one of the silver piece there. Because my kid did something to it and uh, I don't know where it went. But you also have heated seats for the rear and rear seats pocket right there. So I'm 5'8 and I still have plenty of leg room even with the seats back. Headroom is not a problem for me as well. Rear seats are very well padded. It is really comfortable sitting in the back. You also have the M uh, badge embossed on the backrest. And here's the look to the back. Here you have the center armrest with two cup holders and a storage compartment right there and this vehicle here have a lot more space than my previous COA 45 AMG and here you have the opening to the trunk it is also a lot more comfortable comparing to the COA 45 even though they both are like a coupe like styling alright now let's open the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so the trunk in the BMW M6 Grand Coupe offer a pretty decent amount of cargo space as you can see, 
I can put plenty of our grocery and luggages in the back. Located on each side of the trunk, you have the lever to fold down both of the rear seats. I'll show you how it look with it fold down. Alright, so this is how it look with both of the rear seats folded. So I can put uh, longer items inside a car if uh, I need to which I find a really convenient feature and here you also have the net for your smaller items also have your tools there you have the uh, manual lever to release the trunk in case you get locked up Alright, so the gas cap is located on the passenger side, just push it in to open, and it does require premium unleaded fuel only, and holds approximately 21.1 gallons of fuel, and that's a pretty big tank. So overall, the BMW M6 Grand Coupe interior space is very luxurious, and offer enough space for almost anyone to be comfortable, even on a long road trip. The front cabin is very classy and elegant with great upholstery material and nicely carbon fiber trims and aluminum trims all around. And here's a look to the back once again. Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Very comfortable and spacious. I really like the design of the dash of the M6. I think it is so unique from uh, other BMW models. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the BMW M6 Grand Coupe video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.